Dagan just did a whole big thing here. Maybe I should let him call in. Well, he says, I don't have time to watch WWE, especially with Vince running the show. Didn't Brian just rant about that, getting mad at someone for not watching something? No, Dagan. I'm mad at you not because you're not watching WWE, but because you keep insisting that Vince is running the show, and he's not, and you're not even watching it to, like, I mean, he's not. Dagan, Don't not saying... watch the show and tell me how the quality of the show. I'm oh. watching it every week, and Mike is, and all the people that watch it are going to tell you something, and you're insisting it's not true, but you're not watching it. Dagan. He's not booking the show. There's a segment here or there that clearly has his fingerprints on it, but it is a segment here or there. The majority of the show, the vast majority of the show, is Paul booking the show, and it is miles better miles better than it was two years ago or even a year ago so don't argue with me about it you don't have to watch it but don't not watch it and then tell me about it that's the point i don't sit here and tell jingo about stardom if i watch a show i'll review it but i'm not going to sit here and tell you about stardom's last month because i didn't see any of it that would be crazy Dagan, if you want to say that you don't want to watch a Vince McMahon influenced product, that would I'm, be I'm opening the phone lines for Dagan. If you don't, only if, Dagan is allowed to call. Hold on you, a second. Go you ahead. talk. I am. If you want to say that you don't want to watch a Vince McMahon led product because he's back with the company, where is okay, it? Okay, but Dagan? he is not booking the company day to day he tends to screw things up by sticking things in last minute we heard about that since the day after wrestlemania but but he is not booking this thing and there are fingerprints of other people all over this show so i'm gonna see if i can do this without even listening to what it says because i don't want people to know all these secret messages you're right and they'll, they'll pick up on the uh the the tone gimmick too i believe so you got to be careful about that let's see if yeah. i can do this all right. Right now, for everybody who is uh, listening to Resterilly, I'd like to thank you. We're listening via podcast. Right now, Brian is. Uh, oh, my gosh, is it worked. Firing up the I can't phone believe lines it. here just for Dagan. Only to call for Dagan. I only want to hear from Dagan. And explain himself. I want, yeah, I want Dagan to explain himself. I want him to tell me more about this show he doesn't watch. You got it, Dagan? And then once you do that, maybe I'll let you talk about something else, too. If you want to talk about, uh, I don't know. Well, no. Start him. Maybe, yeah. Look, how about how just, about the Juggalos? Well, you have to impress. Well, Filthy's because Tom be sure the, liked uh, that Juggalo show. I'm sure he did. He was. He's I still am. covered in Fago right now. I'm not. I'm not kidding. <laughs> he's drenched. <laughs> Couldn't get it out of him. Oh my God! All right, Dagan, let's hear it, brother. You're you're really you're seriously. Yes. You're making me uh, stop making my coffee for five minutes. Yep, so I, I got a, I got a red hotline here, just it. like in those old cartoons. You got a red hotline straight to the show. <laughs> so Northeast are making themselves yes. some coffee. Okay, so, so let me just ask you something, Brian. Uh, after all this time of you saying that Vince McMahon is back, Vince McMahon is running the show, Vince McMahon is doing all this stuff, you're now suddenly telling me he's not running no, the show? No, don't, don't do this, Dagan. When, when WrestleMania occurred... The night after WrestleMania, Vince showed up, and he tore the entire script up, and he rewrote everything, and the show was awful. It was a total 100% Vince McMahon show. Correct. And the next so day, the yes. next day, I said, factually, he's back, which he was, okay? Then he went home. And all of the shows afterwards, with maybe one exception, I think there's been one or two exceptions where he's actually torn up the whole script beforehand, he's not doing any of that. He's not doing any of that. It's exactly the same as it was report. before WrestleMania. It's exactly the same. Dang there was one wait. SmackDown. Hold on. Or, or, there was or, one SmackDown okay. two weeks ago where they announced a whole card, and then they didn't do any of it. That was Vince, okay? Now, they did end up doing them the week after, but that was a Vince show. But those are two shows. What What is it? July 7? So we have May, June. In three months, there have been two shows that have been Vince shows. The rest have been exactly the same as they were before. So do not cherry pick, Dagan. Do not well, say, do not take two shows and extrapolate it to the last three months. That would be wrong. Get him, Dagan. Okay, okay. So I'm not, I'm not cherry picking here, but, but let me just put this out there. There is always the chance, now that Vince McMahon is back as CEO of WWE or whatever the title is now, that he will, even if it's only a couple shows here and there, I seem to remember reports like last week that he was at Raw and changing things here and there and tearing up the script. No, a SmackDown, right. a SmackDown. So there's always going to be a chance. Yeah. 
Yes. So what, what I'm saying is there's always going to be a chance that Vince McMahon will come in the day of the show and be like, okay, this is my show now, and change all the booking and tear up all the scripts, right? Well, Because sure. it's happened. It's happened You're multiple absolutely right. times since he's come back. You're absolutely right. Okay. Okay. So with that chance always looming, there's always going to be that threat. I don't personally want to take time out of my day to watch the show because okay. there's so much other wrestling to watch. That's there. fine. Be. There's New Japan. Okay. That's fine. If you so say, Dagan, Dagan, if you say... I don't want to watch WWE because I run the risk of watching a show that Vince is in charge of. Fine. That's absolutely fine. But when you say, I'm not watching the show because Vince is running the show, that is factually incorrect. Mm. That's the issue that I have That's not the same thing? No, it's not the same thing. He's not running the show. Brian, are you picking nits here, though? Because in reality, Vince McMahon has the ability to tear things up, which you have said. Yes, he has, but he's not doing that. And so he's not doing that, so you cannot say that he is when he's not. That's the point. He is running the show, but he's not booking the show. But he'll do that. He will do that. I'm sure he will do that again. He might do that the night after WrestleMania. He might have done that at WrestleMania for a particular match this year. But the fact of the matter is, him changing a thing or two or a show or two occasionally is very different from saying he is running the show because I have watched it when he is running the show and he is not running the show now. He has influence over the show, but you know what? Paul Heyman has influence over the show and there are other people that have influence over the show. So that would be like if if there were, uh, you know, there was a show that had the obvious Paul Heyman influence and I came on the, on the air and I said, Paul Heyman's running the show. Well, he's not. Just because he influenced a storyline or two, or just because he wrote a show or two, does not mean he's running the show. It means he ran a segment on a show or a storyline. That's exactly what Vince is doing right now. What Vince is doing right now is what Paul Heyman is doing right now. They're both doing the exact same thing. They have some influence over this, some influence over that. They'll change this or that, but they're not running the show, neither of them. So this is exactly the same thing. Would you like to stick around and talk about something else, Dagan? Sure, why not? I All right. Arguing semantics stick around, point, brother. I love you guys too much to hang up. <laughs> well, stick around. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Back, back here on the show, I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs> I need a big padded wall to just bang, bang, <laughs> bang, bang my head on. Uh, let, put it let up goes, before Vinny has to host. I, I, I noted here that everybody that disagrees with me about this admits that they don't even watch it now. And so I and so then Lenny goes, well, why don't we watch it? And I said, well, you, you quit watching because it was probably over a year ago when it sucked. And now everyone is coming into the chat going, I quit in 2019. I quit because of Saudi. I quit because of Kofi. Rattling off a list of things that were done years ago. Not giving any of the last nine months, ten months a chance at all. And deciding that it must suck exactly the same. And meanwhile, the people in the chat that are actually watching the show, they'll all tell you the exact same thing I'm telling you. It is miles and miles better. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.